Vanessa Trump, the ex-wife of Donald Trump Jr. and the mother of his five children, has largely flown under the radar compared to other members of the Trump family. Here are some things you may not know about former model Vanessa Trump. Marrying into the Trump family was not Vanessa's introduction to the lifestyle of the well-to-do. She might not have grown up in the White House, but she still had a pretty pampered upbringing. Born Vanessa Hayden, she grew up in luxury on Manhattan's Upper East Side, where she and her family lived in a townhouse. The young Vanessa attended the pricey Dwight School across town, which reportedly costs nearly $49,000 per year. Vanessa's mother ran a modeling agency, while her father was a celebrity attorney whose famous clients included iconic figures like actress Marilyn Monroe, according to Business Insider. Vanessa and her sister Veronica had a nanny to take care of them, while their high-profile parents went to work. Vanessa told the New York Times that, as a child, she would regularly attend crazy parties with her nanny where she rubbed shoulders with models. Surprisingly, Vanessa's ex-boyfriend, gang member Valentin Rivera, says that it wasn't his gang activity or his trouble with the law that ended his relationship with her. Instead, he said that he broke up with her after the New York Post reported that she had been seen on a date with film star Leonardo DiCaprio. On May 1, 1998, the story claimed, DiCaprio's luscious love is 20-year-old fashion model Vanessa Hayden. The passionate pair have been inseparable over the past two weeks. They tried to keep a tight lid on their budding romance, but it all spilled out during a private party in a trendy Soho loft last week. The couple could be seen holding hands, kissing and cuddling into the wee hours in a dimly lit corner. The relationship was never officially confirmed, and New York Magazine suggested that Vanessa had started the rumor herself, but it was circulated enough that it meant the end of the alleged relationship between the then-future Vanessa Trump and Rivera. Like many of the women in the Trump family, Vanessa is a former model. It seems like Donald Trump Jr. has similar tastes to his father, whose three wives, Ivana Trump, Marla Maples and Melania Trump, are all former models. The president's daughters have also continued what seems to be a Trump tradition. Ivanka Trump was previously signed to elite model management's celebrity division, while her younger half-sister Tiffany Trump has been occasionally spotted on the runway. While Vanessa's modeling past isn't as widely publicized as the first lady's, she has extensive experience posing for the cameras. The fact that her mother ran a modeling agency may have helped ease her way into the industry, but Vanessa's good looks ensured that she found steady work. She began modeling as a child and was signed to Wilhelmina Models, as the New York Times reported in 2006. How does a model and socialite who has reportedly dated a gang member end up with the son of a businessman? By being set up by the guy's dad, apparently. Donald Trump was reportedly eager to set up his son with the model. Discussing her introduction to the Trumps in 2003, she told the New York Times, I'm at this fashion show. Donald Trump comes up to me with his son. Hi, I'm Donald Trump. I wanted to introduce you to my son, Donald Trump Jr. After an awkward conversation, the three went back to the fashion show. At intermission, the older Trump introduced his son to Vanessa again, apparently forgetting that he'd already made the introduction. Vanessa reportedly wasn't impressed at first, and it wasn't until a few weeks later after again being introduced by a mutual friend that she clicked with Donald Jr. She claimed they talked for an hour and from there, the romance unfolded. While it seems like Vanessa is the kind of woman that Donald Trump wanted his son to be with, he wasn't always supportive of the relationship, or at least he wasn't supportive of his son's actions. Once Vanessa and Donald Jr. got together, it seemed like things were going smoothly, until their not-so-romantic engagement. Donald Jr. proposed with a $100,000 ring in 2004. The New York Post reported at the time that he got the ring for free in exchange for a public proposal at New Jersey jewelry store Bailey Banks & Biddle. The proposal brought in publicity for the store, but many thought that it was tacky. I'm very happy. She better be very happy. <laughs> Apparently, Vanessa did get a more romantic proposal a couple of months earlier at the couple's home. Donald Jr.'s dad later went on Larry King Live and expressed his disapproval, saying, You have a name that is hot as a pistol. You have to be very careful with things like this. Her public engagement might not have been the most glamorous event, but at least Vanessa got married in style, as people reported. She and Donald Trump Jr. tied the knot at his dad's Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida, the estate that the president would later unofficially dub the Southern White House because of the amount of time he spends there. The extravagant ceremony took place in November 2005, less than a year after the then-future president married his third wife Melania at Mar-a-Lago. 
Vanessa and her husband were both 27 years old. The wedding took place poolside and the bride wore a dress she had designed herself. The ceremony was on the modest side for a Trump event, although the wedding took place in front of 370 guests. Judge Marianne Trump Barry, the groom's aunt, officiated, making the wedding a true Trump affair. It seemed to be a fairy tale wedding and one that would mark a turning point in Vanessa's life. She isn't one of the better-known members of the extensive Trump clan, but it seems that, at least within the family itself, Vanessa is one of the most respected. Donald Trump's eldest daughter, Ivanka, has not been reserved in expressing the admiration she has for Vanessa, or at least she wasn't, before Vanessa left Ivanka's brother. She told People in 2016, My sister-in-law Vanessa is a machine. She can take all of my children and not even notice. She has five children and she's Wonder Woman to me. She can be taking care of them all simultaneously, each pulling on her and have direct, meaningful connections with each of them at one time. It's remarkable. Ivanka called Vanessa an amazing mother and really an inspiration to her. The president's daughter also said that Vanessa is one of the people that she goes to for parenting advice. Vanessa and Don Jr.'s divorce might have come as a surprise to many, but those who are closest to the family claimed that the relationship had been rocky for quite some time. A source told Page Six in 2018, He gives her very little help and has been keeping her on a tight budget. She doesn't live a lavish life and can very rarely pick up a check at dinner. Who's on diaper duty? <laughs> While Vanessa's spokesperson denied the rumors that Donald Jr. was tight-fisted and treated his wife, quote, like a second-class citizen, there were problems in the relationship beyond money. According to Us Weekly, Donald Jr. was involved in an affair with Danity Kane singer Aubrey O'Day from the end of 2011 to March 2012, allegedly ending it only after Vanessa found out about it. While they reconciled, the alleged affair reportedly took a toll on their marriage and might have been one of the contributors to their eventual divorce. Sources claim that Vanessa was warned about Don Jr. more than once. One insider told Page Six, people were telling her not to marry him before the wedding. Even though she went through with the wedding, people still seem to be skeptical about the couple. The first lady herself also reportedly warned her stepdaughter-in-law about what the Trump men are really like. An anonymous source told Us Weekly, Melania told her the Trump men are one and the same, vain and power hungry. Vanessa had allegedly gone to her mother-in-law for relationship advice, prompting the warning. It would seem that Melania doesn't have much confidence in her stepson. She allegedly warned Vanessa to tread lightly. The insider added, Melania told her she could do nothing to change that and offering her husband an ultimatum would be a huge mistake because he would choose his thirst for power like his dad. Being part of the first family can take quite a toll on even extended members of the family. Things got scary for Vanessa in February 2018, after she opened an envelope addressed to her husband that was filled with a powdery white substance, according to the New York Post. While the substance turned out to be cornstarch, Vanessa was rushed to the hospital in case the then-unknown substance ended up being toxic. The envelope turned out to be a prank, but it left Vanessa terrified. She later told Axios, it was a cowardly act against a mother, and even today, every time I open the mail, I feel the same fear in my heart as I did that day. These recent acts are the acts of a coward and nothing more than terrorism, pure and simple. No one, regardless of political party or ideology, should ever have to go through what I went through. Vanessa seems to have been laying pretty low since her highly publicized divorce from Don Jr. was finalized in February 2019. For now, it looks like she's enjoying being on her own and devoting herself to her kids. She's on social media, but her Twitter account doesn't reveal too many personal details. It's filled with photos of her kids. Her Twitter bio reads, I'm a mother of five amazing kids. My children are my life. She captioned a photo collage of her daughter in June 2019 with, Happy fifth birthday to my princess, Chloe Sophia. You always make everyone smile. May all your dreams come true. We all love you. Her infrequent posts are mostly centered around her kids and her love for them, making it clear that she's a devoted and loving mother. Even though she's no longer legally part of the Trump family, Vanessa still maintains her bond with them. Her kids are Trumps by blood after all, and it seems that Vanessa is doing her best to stay tight with her former in-laws. When she's not tweeting about her kids, she's posting tributes to the family, including a happy birthday post to Grandpa, also known as President Donald Trump, in June 2019.
The president's former daughter-in-law was also seen outside the home of his older daughter, Ivanka, and her husband, Gerard Kushner, dropping off some of her children in September 2018, according to Vanity Fair. While it isn't clear if Vanessa and Ivanka are as close as they were before the split, it's apparent that they aren't letting the end of Vanessa's marriage keep their children apart. Vanessa may no longer legally be a member of the Trump family, but she doesn't seem ready to completely cut ties with the presidential clan, at least for now. While there were rumors that Vanessa was leaving Don Jr. because of his tight-fisted ways, the former model isn't exactly hurting for cash. Her mother is still alive as of early 2020, but Vanessa inherited a not-so-small fortune from her father, Charles Hayden, who passed away in 2005. Page Six reported Hayden owned 30% of a specialty foods company that sold for roughly $415 million in 2017, leaving Vanessa and her family with a sizable windfall. According to People, the money would have been untouchable by Donald Jr. in the divorce proceedings since it was part of an inheritance. The fortune ensures that Vanessa will be able to be financially independent with or without her ex-husband. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.